And the shop would have been amazing. Oh, that was so winnable. I gotta take my time, guys. Let me slow down. It was so winnable. So, so, so winnable. No, I transform one strike and one, um, one strike and one, um, uh, defend. Now, I was fine. Mean Bone was healing me. I, I, I think the deck was totally fine. It was gonna, the shop was gonna be beautiful. I, I'm more, more upset that I, uh, I just I played it wrong. That's all. I played it wrong. I'm not gonna say the deck was at fault because you saw right there. If you just reset it, and did my potions, I was it was winning. Wow, I'm getting destroyed here. It's funny when I have like I just, they just they just always know when to attack. What is this? Yeah, just taking my time would have solved it. You know, we sh we saw that the deck could get through there. Stone Counter was just clutch enough, and you know, we had all this gold we didn't get to use, so yeah, I can't really. It's not RNG, it was definitely my fault. But another thing that's interesting is Demon Form on floor three. My dogs? Okay, my dogs are. Um... Sorry, I missed that great, great, greatest. Greatest, great. Uh, I would say nearing like. Six to seven on Isaac. Six to se six years old. It's gonna be six six years old, and Albie is like three years old. I don't quite remember. I think Isaac's like six years old. Maybe nearing seven. Maybe more more towards six. Albie, I think, is nearing three years old. Uh, Demon form on floor three. Not good. What about things like uh, things like havoc and bloodletting, etc. And if this is Lagavulin, you know we have time to play what Demon Form, Lagavulin. And other fights, it's a curse, of course, but it's a curse that pays off sometimes. It's like a wise thing that could exist way down the line. I mean, yeah, it's okay to have one curse. It's good to have one curse uh, that would help kill the boss, I would say. I think one curse is fine. Probably we gotta get him that. Uh, Wild Strike is a strike that also gives me, you know, Perfected Strike synergy. So if we already have Perfected Strike in the deck, and then I now take a Demon Form, I mean, what is this deck saying? It's like, okay, uh, I don't necessarily want to take the Wild Strike either, though. You know, I don't. I mean, this is damage, which is not bad. I guess evolving is gonna be necessary at this point. Watch Strike synergizes more for the early game. Demon Form is probably better future proof. So it all comes down to early game stuff here. And I have a lot of gold, so maybe the shop can kind of influence how I utilize the Demon Form. Hmm. Snake Eye is also a boss relic that I don't necessarily want to go there, but I think Demon Form is good for the boss as well. I'll go Wild Strike, play Proactive, and try to be more experimental here. Okay. You have Fire Breathing, which is decent. You have Remove a Curse, which is decent. And these relics are not that decent. Take Ink Bottle, where I can just save my money here. Save my money. I don't really... I'm not in love with Ink Bottle here. I do want to buy the Explosive Pot, maybe, though. Do I, do I really buy cards here? Should I be buying cards? Is that the approach? Flame Barrier, Ink Bottle, sorry, Flame Barrier, Explosive Pot, and Pass? I can't go to the shop, I have to hit an Elite. I don't know, man. That doesn't feel good at all.
Another perfected strike or in flame. What? Oh, jeez. Well, we already have one perfected strike in the deck, so it goes without say that we should probably take a second one, right? But then we do have a two cost shenanigan deck. And I don't know if I like the two cost, whereas in flame is like less committal, right? In flame is not as committal. It's one energy, it's a power. Gets it out of my deck. If I take the perfected strike, I'm fully committing here. Which we've seen how that works. Yo, take care, Keepix. We've seen how that works. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit here. Yeah, it's a common card after all. Should we commit to Perfected Strike number two here? I don't have energy. Uh, we have two upgrades. Three upgrades. We have three upgrades. Alright, let's do it. I do think Inflate was probably the better, better choice, though. Alright, so we do have Explosive Pod, which is nice. I get his full block here. I'll let Fire Breathing do the rest. Thank God we have Flame Barrier. Thank God we, we bought that. Fire Breathing do the rest. Fire Breathing? They're probably gonna use Explosive Pot in this fight, anyways, right? Although Fire, fire Breathing is about to solve the fight. Uh, uh, because of the Metallicize, I'm gonna do this. And then the fight should be solved now. Perfect. Got a potion belt, which is nice. So this is a strike that makes Perfected Strike better. And that's about it. Since we have Perfected Strike, should we take another strike? Oh my god, it's gonna be inundated with stupid attacks. It's gonna be inundated with stupid attacks. I'm not a fan. Besides, we didn't take an Inflame. Which would have been kind of nice. Imagine a world we take the inflame here instead, and now we have twin strike. So twin strike and flame kind of nice, and then twin strike also synergizes with the strike. But instead, I feel inclined to skip. But there is a saying that if you have perfected strike, you should take strikes. But how true to that statement should I stick to? You know, I mean, I already have so many strikes. It is like an inflame if you have perfected strike plus. Yes. But you then you have to draw that a draw cost that you can't really remove out of your deck like in flame wood and it's only perfect and it's only for perfected strike Ah, uh, was that is, am I playing perfected strike wrong am I making the wrong choice am I supposed to take the twin strike this is a hard fight as well I'm getting all the banger fights that I'm not equipped for I don't think Yeah, I'm not really well equipped for these fights. More strikes and a bloodletting. Move stone. Alright. Should I upgrade fire bang for the slam boss? Okay. Orikakum. We're not really blocking, so Orikakum is pretty good, I would say. Does anybody object to Orikakum here? If I take the Orikakum, I might end up just removing a defend. And then here's our deck. Perfect strike shenanigans. No sustain. I feel like it's going to block a decent amount though. So many strikes, I know I would like to remove them. And we have some block, but... Yeah, maybe just some non-Iron Chat, but I, I've, been, I've been liking Iron Chat a lot recently. Does that, mean, does that mean we want to remove Defend now at this point?
Um, I, I wonder if my question here is to actually rest. I think so. Let's go rest and at least one rest. We're happy, right? At least one. Okay, so this is AOE, which we kind of needed. All right, there's also another perfected strike. <laughs> what? Three perfected strikes. That's our offense for the whole game. Combust is the AOE, though. And if we get Bless RNG for Sneko, then we have a Sneko perfected, which is obviously good. Again, this is the, another choice. Do we commit with another perfected strike? And this is our upgrade? Or do we take Combust, which is the AoE we kind of lack? We lack AoE big time. We have Fire Breathing with Slime Boss, but in other fights we don't. I'll say let's commit. It's also Carnage, right? Carnage is just a let more long. It's just a two cost attack. Right, I hope I get Blood Lightning and Bash here. I didn't. I didn't get bloodletting, and I'm one damage off lethal. Yeah, I don't want to rest for the boss though, so that's just some okay. Threading needle, emulate, emulate is the AOE we needed. Perfect. All right, runs runs online. I want a fire pot. I think we're gonna. I think I think we're not gonna power potion. We're just gonna fire pot, right? Save the power potion. Uh, I think fire breathing is just way too good to not play here. It would be extremely foolish. So we have six block. We have ten block by doing nothing, guys. Just keep the fire potion. I mean, y'all are doubting, but who's shouting? Because that's a banger. And you'll be surprised, guys. This face stuff, it works. All right. And if we're using our face, right? Reaper and feed come to mind. Nah, I will convert it no problem to late game. Feed is meta scaling to convert to late game. Reaper is uh, maybe feed is the meta scaling to convert to late game here. All right, let's put a prediction for Act Two, boys. Fusion hammer no longer upgrade versus losing gold. Might be the one time where I want to lose gold because I actually want to upgrade cards, right? <sighs> Losing gold sucks. Losing gold sucks, but is this the one time we take ectoplasm? Because we want to keep upgrades like feed and, and bloodletting and stuff like that. Is this the one time we take ectoplasm, boys? At least it's worth a shot. I mean, do we value upgrades more than the ability? So, I guess armaments exist in this class. So, this class has armaments. So, maybe... You know, maybe we could take Fusion Hammer because armaments exist. And leave myself... Having gold is just too valuable, right? I would have preferred taking Choker than any of these. I mean, we want to upgrade Feed, yeah? I want to upgrade Feed. I want to upgrade Bloodletting. Um, Armaments is not a card I want to put in my deck. Armaments is a very bad block card to put in my deck. Of course, Apotheosis exists, but that's a rare card. Rare colorless at that. Am I really willing to give up upgrades here? I already have upgraded Immolate. Yeah, I know Apotheosis exists, but... I mean, Runa Pyramid would have been good if I didn't have so many two costs, right? I know I have Bloodletting, but I have way too many two costs to consider Runa Pyramid here. Maybe need to rest anyways? I don't think we're gonna need to rest. <coughs> what is possible? It's possible we need to rest. We also have to recall once. We may have to rest at one point. We also have to recall. So there's maybe a world where we don't get to upgrade if we have to rest, which I don't think I need to rest too much. I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it anyways. And then I just gotta make a decision between gold. Gold and upgrades. Uh, that's a tough choice, guys. I might take a little bit of a second here. Uh, 
I guess I want to upgrade feet, but more important than upgrade feet is just slamming elite fights. Yeah, we go uh, we go event hunting. We don't need necro, but yeah, we could definitely go event hunting and there's events that upgrade your strikes and defense, which is nice. Nah, just getting brute force energy is sometimes just what you need perfected strike, and we you just get a lot of elite uh, relics. And we have a lot of block. We're not gonna need to rest. We have thread and needle and orichalcum. We're not gonna need to rest. Uh, but I do want to upgrade. Fuck, okay, one second, one second, one second. Uh, no longer have gold. No longer have gold. But keep the upgrade. It's alive. No longer have gold, but keep upgrades alive. Feed plus is my main concern. Bloodletting plus is another concern. Hey, no problem, C gamer. No problem. Nah. Drago, I think I think you're scared of Perfected Strike, but you'll be surprised how effective this is. If you have a, a damage profile that just includes Perfected Strike as like a two energy dump a lot of damage, and you do a lot of other things with your deck, you'd be surprised. But uh, of course, we're nowhere near there, but hopefully I can bring it together to kind of show you what I mean. I've seen some crazy things. This, this, this could exist even without Sneko, but of course Sneko helps a lot. How badly do I want to upgrade feed? How badly do I want to upgrade bloodletting? There are events that upgrade specific cards, right? There's also relics that upgrade cards. I think I'm clicking this. Although, if there's ever a case for ectoplasm, this feels like a good case. But buying a nice relic from a shop would be quite nice. Like, if I can buy a self-forming clay and save my money for a self-forming clay, I'm very happy. Uh, I don't think we're going to rest. I'll skip this part in the video, maybe. I got to remind myself to skip this part in the video. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. I do want upgrades badly. I do want upgrades badly. Oh boy. I wish I could see the map. I wish I could see the map. Cause I should have remove anyways. If I lose gold, all right. I'll take Fusion Hammer. I really think Ectoplus was the play. Oof, that was so hard, man. So, so hard. Let's take a look at the elites. I want to do all the elites. It's a lot of hallway fights. It's not a very good path. I like, at least this we get some elites and we get some events, which is nice. We want some events. I don't want all these hallway fights. It's ridiculous. Although, we can manage. And more hallway fights is more feed, right? So maybe we do want more hallway fights for more feed. And we can get three elites here. So hallway fights are pretty scary, but we have a strong deck, I would say. And we go for feed. Now, there's two events here pretty good. Do I value hallway fights more than events? The events could be some decent... There's some decent events in Act 2. So I'm missing out on one elite. So I could do three elites here. Or... Well, I also get three events here, which is something. I get... Three events here. I get four events. Alright, we'll go for the elites. We're going for three elites here. Uh, maybe I draw back and defeat in this fight. Maybe we draw back and defeat. Um, we can just take two. We can just. We can practically win here. But we want to get feed, right? Uh, but maybe this is not the time for feed. Alright, so we lost one feed there. Perfected Strike Plus. What is going on? What is going on? 
Oh boy. Let's try to set up feet here. Try to set up feet, please. Again, I have lethal with no feed. It's probably worth stalling for feed, huh? Because the, the meta scaling is pretty important. I have so much damage, I kill things without it. And maybe this is why the problem with feed here is that I do so much damage, I kill things so quickly that maybe it's not worth going for feed. What's up, Pizza Monster? How you doing? I'm doing well. I mean, look, I have lethal. But maybe we want to try to get feed instead. I don't know. If I do wild strike, there's a chance where I don't even draw feed. Small chance, but it's there. So we got to make this commitment now. Do we want to go for feed? This is 36. Well, I'm not going, I'm not going to any fires. I'm literally not doing any fires. I'm going three elites. No fires. I don't care about fires because I have fusion hammer. So... I'm not thinking about resting at all. Yeah, no fires at all. But I, I, I'm only taking like a small amount of damage to get feed here because I have, uh, you know, good block here. I fucked up. I did too much damage. Sorry, I got distracted. All right, we laced another potion. That's pretty bad. Palmo strikes another strike. Go with bloodletting as well. I made a couple mistakes. We have feed here. Now, how do we utilize feed? I might not be able to, right? Let me take a look. Six. So we have 12 plus this. It's going to be 23 damage. And he gains too much life. More perfected strikes? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I need to get feed, but this is this is, already this feed is really causing me some issues here. I don't think I did take that perfected strike. We're totally fine. I, I definitely maybe like brutality to kind of uh, gain some more card draw here. This perfected strike stuff is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not taking a fifth one. I'm just not. There's no way. I, I'm capping myself. I'm capping myself out at four. My damage is perfectly fine. I, I need to do other things in my deck right now. I do too much damage. And not enough of other things. Oh, this is a good this is a good fight though. Alright, this is a good fight. So we do have uh this is an interesting fight here. We have perfect feed. Now that is what I call extreme, amazing, disgusting value. I mean, that was fantastic. Got a potion back, so we don't feel as bad about the fact that we uh, that we lost that fire pot out of stupidity. We're already getting some more feed value here. Um, and it's probably better to do this. Thread Needle Ori Calcum is... Yeah, I know Battalion needs an upgrade. Not having an upgrade sucks. It really does. Flameberry kills this man, but... Nah, uh, he's... He's... This guy's in perfect feed value. Feed range, rather. But let's make it in strike range, in case that I need to strike him. Uh, and I will. And now let's get feed. Uh, so 15. So he takes less, he takes half, right? Is that showing me the correct amount? It is. Show me the correct amount, yeah? Because it's going to be 10, but perfectly 15. Perfect. 
Alright, more feed. Loving it. Battle trans, huge. Alright, no campfire. Who needs it? Alright. So we have feed on the first guy. You guys prefer doing feed on the first guy to get the metascaling? Or do you guys prefer killing the back? <laughs> I mean, we can kill the guy in the back. I think we attack bot here, right? I get perfect feed in the front. And then I can wild strike the back. What's up, Chrissy? I mean, I do value feed here. I can save attack bot for something else, though. Um, let's see what it is. Okay, I'm content with this. Now that guy's in perfected strike range. And, uh, well, Emily just wins. And Paper Frog's huge. Alright, we need more meta scaling, though. Not enough. Let's see what events we get here. I'll take the max HP. We're going to use our face a lot. More feed here. And eh, no feed here. And then we woke up at uh, 5.30 a.m. Well, we got more damage to Paper Frog, but we need to solve other issues like self-forming clay and instance burner. We need to solve ways to block. Um, yeah, Paper Frog helps us, but not really helping us in an area we desire to be helped. However, we're going to do a lot of damage. The Perfected Strike should do a lot of damage with this Paper Frog. I mean, we're talking upwards of 60 per Perfected Strike, which is huge. Hey, yeah, I appreciate it, Chrissy. I kind of want to drop out of here, but I don't want to waste a potion willy-nilly. This fight's relatively easy anyways. Um, did we think we can draw back into feed in the correct time? I don't think so. I think by the time we get to feed, the Perfected Strike and Immolate has been played. So we just cry a little bit here and we say feed is um feed is uh, not gonna get utilized and I guess we have bloodletting. That's one reason to draw, right? It's bloodletting. Alright. And we had feed. We had feed. Um I don't wanna draw here. I can't believe I you know, in hindsight decided to to draw pot and then end up losing feed, but whatever. Okay, Whirlwind Plus is absolutely useless. It's an upgraded card, I might as well throw it in the trash. Yeah, we could Metallicize. So if we Metallicize, we can end up getting Orichalcum, Threading Needle, and Metallicize, sure. I could take a Shrug It Off. H how dare I take a Shrug It Off in this deck though, right? It almost feels criminal to take a Shrug It Off here. It's like, why would I waste energy on 8 block when I could be doing an extra energy for 60 damage? You put it that way, it's like 8 block versus 60 damage. It also gets rid of our Orichalcum, right? However, in the future, we're going to want cards like Shrug It Off, right? Because we can't survive off Orichalcum through a needle the whole game. Or can we? Or can we? I do think we remove Shrug, though. I think... In general, Shrug is just doing something like 8 block and whatever for 1 energy that is sorely wasted when we have all these things going on right now. You hate to see it, but Goblin Horn is perfect. Mutagenic Strike is interesting. Um, if you guys want, we could say, listen, I, I went a little crazy with these strikes. I think my perfect strikes are doing enough damage. We have a lot of vulnerable already. Not, we don't have a lot of vulnerable, but we have enough damage with the vulnerable. Maybe I get rid of these two strikes and see if it gets something better. Or we just take the jacks and then we have, uh, sorry, mutagenic strength. Then we have three turn, three strength turn one, which actually is not utilized that well for, by me. I can transform the defense. Oh, I forgot. I can transform the defense instead. Let's do that. What the hell? What in tarnation? What in tarnation did I just witness? You just gave me an entrench in this deck. And a heavy blade? Well, we know where we're moving now. Let's look for bloodletting, right? Oh my god. What is going on here? 
This blocks a decent amount, but then I don't get perfected strike in play. Um, if I do this damage now, bash perfected strike with bloodletting could lead to lethal proportions. And uh, maybe we end up going to campfire after all, but we can't. We can't upgrade. Oh my god, this entrench and this heavy blade was horrible. I should have taken the mutagenic strength and got out of there. I mean, there's also potential for the transform to be good, so whatever. Wow, wow, wow. What's up, Elo? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we, that was a really bad transform. I don't really have that much gold to remove. There's an event here. Yikes. So this is going to be doing 12 damage and blocking. This is 39 damage. And I don't want to get the wound here. Now, the whole goal here is if I had... If I had bloodletting here, I could have gotten feed. And that would have made me really happy. But now we have lethal no feed. And I'm really sad. 68 damage wouldn't have vulnerable. Okay, we got whetstone. That's decent. Twin strike is another strike. Now, remember guys, if we have four perfected strikes, do we add a strike? It's like adding flame to all my cards in my deck, but I'm also adding a twin strike to my deck. Like, I don't know. I just don't think we do this. No, our, our perfected strikes are doing just fine. Boom, and now we get another one upgraded. Four of them upgraded. Our damage is perfect, so that's not what we need to worry about. We need to worry about getting feeds here is what we need to do. What we need to do is get some feeds. We have a burn and a wound in the deck. Fortunately, this is a very good fight for me. So there should be no problem getting feed in time. Perfect. Perfect feed. 100 HP, we're getting there. Okay, Disarm is fantastic. It's a perfect card to get out of your deck and help with some multi-hits. I like it a lot. Second Wind is also something interesting because we have some uh, some disgusting spells we don't care about. Imagine I Second Wind my Entrench, my Defend, the Wound or the Burn that I get from Wild Strike. At the moment, we don't have Evolve. So Second Wind can kind of take away some of the bad stuff we've been putting in our deck. Right? The other hand is Disarm. Against the Heart alone, this is going to save me a lot of life. Against many fights, it saves me a lot of life. I mean, it's hard to argue against Disarm. Like, you kind of want second win in this deck, potentially. But when it goes up against the Disarm, it makes you wonder. If we get Snekawai, second win becomes better, right? Snekawai, second win would be a lot better. Because then I can actually, in mass, see the bad stuff I don't care about. Like the disgusting defense and Entrench. Entrench becomes a better card, but... And then we also get rid of the wounds and the burn. But disarm is so versatile. All right, so so we could go to this campfire. There's two campfires here: a campfire and an event versus potential feed and another elite. If we go to the campfire, we're probably going to be recalling since we can't upgrade. Yeah, disarm is not as good for the boss fight. So second wind is better for the boss fight. It it gets rid of the the nasty stuff in my deck, but disarm is just better. It's just better for the game. But I'm making the decision, the executive decision. We're sticking with it. And we're sticking with it here. Try to get feed here. That'd be fantastic if I can get some feed. Please let me get some feed. Kill yourself and let me get feed. Feed's gonna come here, I believe. I believe in feed. Yay. Alright, so the way we do feed here is bash. And then, uh... Strike. Alright, and then bloodletting. Okay, got 103 max HP. I wish I could upgrade that. Another perfection strike. No way, sir. No way. We already talked about this. Stop offering these perfected strikes. Imagine if I was a yes man, and I said yes to every single perfected strike. We probably would have died. Shrug it off for showing his, uh, his head again. We kind of already talked about Shrug It Off. Now going into the hearts, 
I guess one way we're going to need, if we're going to need Lesser Tail, we're going to need Fairy in the Bottle. Otherwise, this is not going to sustain itself. In fact, we need self Forming Clay, we need Incense Burner, we need Fairy in the Bottle, we need Lesser Tail. We need something to make this deck viable against the Heart, which we have a whole act to figure out. But as it stands, if I skip Struck it off, which I probably should, um, right? Because it doesn't do anything for the deck. Well, we're going to have to figure something out. So, we skip the Struck it off, yeah? We already kind of agree on this? Or is it maybe time to consider it again? And in the world where I don't have upgrade plus, I'll probably upgrade bash. Oh, wait, I can't upgrade. Fuck. I don't know why I took fusion hammer. Eh, but this gold, let's see how this gold treats us, right? So we have a lot of gold. We wouldn't have this gold of ectoplasm. Let's see where this gold takes us in act three. And maybe this gold will save our life. You take Shrug as one energy for 8 block, which gets rid of Ori Calcum and the start of Needle stuff. And, well, it's actually 9 block because of Smooth Stone. This makes it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I might get 5 energy, but I don't have 5 energy. I don't know. Uh, I'd rather not take it because it might. It's going well, Vigo. How you doing, buddy? Costco has this Korean brand Pumon. Microwave pork ramen that is surprisingly tasty. Hell yeah, man. I'm all about the microwave goods. Oh my god, who wants to see a magic trick? Oh, this is gonna destroy my magic trick. Wait. This is destroying my magic trick. Stop it. Wait, let's say, let's say we're forced to rest here, right? Instead of recalling. Alright, so I could just do a shit ton of damage here. It's like disgusting amount of damage. I'd rather just do it like this. I was gonna kill these guys, but all right. So let's draw to feed. Please draw to feed. Please draw to feed. Please draw to feed. We have time. We have time. There it is. Okay, singing ball. Oh yay! Shockwave is huge. A we weaken. A we vulnerable. We have paper frog. If you don't take Shockwave, you're probably smoking the reefer. Two strips of worth of poke bacon pork in the package, so very tasty, recently filling. Hell yes. Yeah, I'm gonna get some ramen today. And now we can offer a rest or a recall. 31 HP is decent. It's pretty good, right? Although, I mean, I'll rest, fine. I'll rest once. I would have, would have liked an upgrade, but. All right, let's go ahead and get our uh, our vulnerable applied. Maybe power pot was a consideration. Let's find out. Well, we already have near lethal in the next couple turns with the shockwave perfect strike shenanigans. And emulate is going to give me so much card draw is ridiculous. And it's GG already. Keep all our potions. Let's go ahead and look for emulate. Let's look for feed here, boys. Who wants to get the feed? Who's fiending for the feed? If I get perfect strike, I have lethal. Want to see this, guys? Now you tell me. Now you tell me. Why did I rest? First off. Second off. Whatever, we rested for in the past. Whatever, who cares? Second off. The hell do we do here? We have this amazing, authentic uh, ramen place with me. I can't go back to microwave ramen. That's awesome. Oh, that's... Turn three kill, turn three kill. Mm. So let's talk about Exhum. Exhum gives us shockwave again, double disarm again, and potentially feed. I don't know if I'm gonna get the fifth energy or not. Exhum, if I let's say I get impervious, let's say we just will ourselves to an impervious, God willing. Exhum is giving me disarm and potentially we don't have impervious, but at the moment it gives us shockwave and disarm again. Which reapplying weaken with shockwave might be worth it alone. I don't think double tap would be good. I don't think double tap would be good. I think double tap does what an extra. If I hit it with perfected strike, which if it's vulnerable, it is an extra 69 damage. 
I mean, okay. Double tap is an extra 69 damage. Right? Which is something. Exhume is the kind of flexibility, versatility that I kind of need to hedge my bets against the heart, right? So, an extra disarm, an extra shockwave for permanent weaken, right? Because we don't, we really lack weaken, and weaken can be very important against the heart. Hey, I'm leaning exhume here. All right, so now we no longer rest either. And now we have five energy. Campfires are the worst, and I already told you. Look. I didn't take any campfires in Act 2. I didn't take a single campfire. I was forced to go to a campfire. I'm only going to be forced to recall and that's it. However. However. Um, no sustained relics. I kill things quickly, but there's things like spiky boys that hurt me and stuff. How brazen is it to take off each other here? How brazen is it? Well, look at the options. It's 5th energy. It's 5th energy versus 4 extra HP versus get a random card and an upgrade. Come on, dude. 5th energy is huge. 5th a fifth, a fifth energy will save me more life than any of these relics. You're looking at a black bud, and a 5th energy saves me way more life than that energy right there. Uh, black blood. I mean, yeah, it's sustained, but... We're taking the energy, boys. No longer resting. And uh, let's go. I would like a fairy in the bottle. I would like, I'm going to look very hard for fairy in the bottles here. Also, we're going to dig for events. We have a lot of events here. Look for events and elites. That's three elites. Couple, three events. An early shop. Three events, three elites. Early shop. Recall. And then, and then a wasted campfire. So three elites. Three events. A shop. And a wasted campfire. <laughs> Maybe the campfire is not wasted. Maybe we get a dig or something. What's the alternative? The alternative is all these campfires we don't care about. And two elites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just figured out the path. It's right here. Two events. Shop. And we're on our way. We gotta kill this thing quickly. So maybe just like that. I take seven now and say it's for the greater good. Okay, no wait. It's, let's exhume feed here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, why did I play that? Exhume feed. Exhume feed. It's ultra imperative. I can't believe I played that fire breathing. No, 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 no. I can't believe I played fire breathing. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Please give me exhume. Please give me exhume. Why did I play that? No! Oh my god, I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake, guys. I just lost 3 HP. Fuck. Alright, remind me not to play Fire Breathing again like that. Oh, wait, what? What? See, out of all the events. Let me use the bathroom. Be right back. Get. I said, time to see if Active Plasma is worth it or not worth it. Tori. Tori is something for the heart. Absolutely. Tori is absolutely a relic. Absolutely a relic. I mean, there's no brainer we click Tori here, yeah? It doesn't save that much HP, actually, though. Think about it. I mean, it does. Against the heart, this saves a shit ton of HP. And that's probably enough to beat the heart alone. Wait, that's enough to beat the heart, I think. Now, let's save the rest of our money for the Act 4 shop. Because I could remove a defend. Sorry. I could remove entrench. Would you guys rather remove entrench here? Or save for Act 4 shop? Entrench is pretty bad. But it costs the rest of my gold. We're gonna get a good potion for the heart. So for the heart, we want to have power potion, sure. Um, ghost in the jar if we can find it. Entrench is just pretty bad. Hope for the falling event. 
Well, that's not very because if I'm falling back, I want to hope that it hits Heavy Blade or 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 like Wild Strike. So Heavy Blade still occurs to my deck as well. That's a lot of gold to remove, though. Is it better to save this for Act Four Shop? That's a lot of gold to remove, but it is a pretty good removal. I mean, I can't dilly dally around here. I'm also still upset that I missed 3 HP, so if we lose by 3 HP, guys, we're going to remember this fight where I played Fire Breathing. Yeah, I can't get Ghost in the Jar, but what I can get is a Fairy in the Bottle, and that's what we want. Fairy in the Bottle, Fairy in the Bottle, maybe a Lizard Tail, more Fairy in the Bottles. That's what we're looking for, boys. So maybe I save my goal so I can just look for Fairy in the Bottles in, sh in the shops. We'll have enough for a potion later on, so all I want to do is get a potion from the next Act 4 shop. And boom! Lose defense. Uh, I don't like Wildstrike either. I don't like Wildstrike either, but I don't really like defense either. I got feet early. But there's exhum, so check this out. I'm, I'm going to deliberately play feed and exhum it. Fuck. If I don't get feed in the right time, I, I just I can't feed these these monsters. You know. How much damage am I taking here? I'm taking. I have nine block. I'm taking nine damage for feed. What if I use the potion here? What if I use the potion actually, like a weaken, and then Tori, Tori comes into play? I can exhume feed. You think weaken pod's worth it to get feed? I might be more because I I might not get exhumed the next draw. Oh no! Wait. Yeah, I, I, we can get, it can make us one, one HP, and then I, uh... Alright, let's do it. I mean, I'm committed now. Sun cost fallacy. Sun cost fallacy. Look what I did for a feed on that fight versus 3 HP I could have got it for free in the other fight. Baffling. All right, more max HP. Give me bash. Where's my bash? Uh, emulate exists, but I should probably take care of these things, right? Yes. Suncast Phallus means I shouldn't do it, but I was already in the depths of Suncast Phallus, so I gave into it. I was real. I realized it was Suncast Phallus, and I still wanted to continue on because I was in the trenches. It's like I'm doing something that's a fallacy, and I'm just pointing it out so you guys know that I know it's wrong, but I'm still doing it. But I mean, it maybe not even be wrong. I mean, I have a lot of life to spare. But I also don't can't rest, so I don't know. Every life is important. This is weird because I can kill these things, but if I get immolate, the fight's over. We're not guaranteed to get immolate. I think I approach it like this. I think I approach the fight like this. And this is an immolate waiting room, I guess. Well, immolate didn't exist in this capacity just yet. Um, unfortunately, but we can kill these things one by one and <laughs> go through a rotation, go through the rotation of, uh, that was probably a poor play. All right, let me slow down. Let me slow down. Cause I should be, I should be killing her and her, her only. Uh, is it, should I just get rid of this and not do feed? Because I feel like 
This is probably not the fight to do feed. Took a lot of damage I didn't want to take. Matryoshka, what is that? And in Flame Plus, sure. Sure, I'll skip this. And in Flame Plus helps. No, our damage is fine, guys. So we're not looking for damage, right? We can agree on this. Even if this looks sort of pretty, it's not pretty. Um, we uh, we can't rest, so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting, guys. Maybe Brutality's not even worth it here, because I can't rest. More battle trances. Uppercut is more vulnerable uptick, and it's also weakened. Battle Trance Plus is... We already have one Battle Trance in the deck. It's also a 24 card deck. Do we think we need another Battle Trance? I can't upgrade, up I can't upgrade Uppercut. Battle Trance Plus feels okay. Yeah, Mash Risk is bad in Act 3 because it only gets one charge. Take our ELO. Calipers! <laughs> no! You're lying! Stop that! Vitality was a waste, my bad guys. Vitality was a waste. Exhum though, right? Remember Exhum? How much is this? Too much damage? Um. Instead of 42, it's actually now... Um... for us. More power strike. Alright, so one more event. We want to get an event, surely. Oh, energy pot here. Do I want to do wild strike? Sure. I'm probably not going to draw back in. Oh, I should have done feed and then exhume it later, right. Right. Well, there's nothing for me to do here, except just sit back, relax. I can try to draw back into feed, though. In this world, I try to draw back into feed. I'll try to get like a uh, brutality and stuff out. Maybe we get back into feed, and this is all worth it. See, I should have done exhuming feed here. Uh, he's gonna do a big attack though. Maybe I should have focused on lethal. Lethal is here anyways. Wow. Okay, what? Another one? What is this? 
Who wants this? I can get two max SP or perfected strike. Perfected strike is doing 70 damage plus with vulnerable. Okay. Okay, Art of War is useless, but Panagraph actually is very good. Yes. Yes, I like Panagraph. Yes, I'm intrigued. Alright, can we get feet on this guy? Let's try to get feet. What is this? This is not feed. If I just like, oh, I, I get feed no matter what here. Let me show you why. Yes, it is the backbone. Maybe I should number toddy. Maybe I should have number toddy. Alright, feed. What do you got for me? Let's go. Max HP. We're getting there. 135, boys. Please, let's manifest some fairy in the bottles. Uh, I have food in the microwave, one sec. Well, we're very happy to receive Panagraph in this situation, because in a situation where you don't take a lot of damage, Panagraph is not that good. But here, we don't have any block. are useless okay we got our bash 94 damage a hundred and ten and a hundred and eighteen damage Can we get feed here? Twenty-two. Uh, what's more important, this fire pot or strength pot? Oh, if I play this first, shoot! What is this? Come on. Okay. Um, Entrench plus max HP demon form. Uh, max HP, yeah? Guys, we just seen Fairy in the Bottle at the shop. Come on. We're gonna have a very useless campfire just now. I want Entrench plus to be something, but it's just not. It's just not. Oh, wow. You hate to see it. 142, let's go. Let me take a quick little break. Let me eat my burrito. So that we don't uh, get destroyed when we potentially have a cool deck here. Okay. Wish us luck. Any potions in this fight? We can't get Bash, which is really sad. But if we play Bash now, Shockwave can get the vulnerable quicker, right? The artifacts are the biggest enemy because my my vulnerable is really huge. Um so I want to do shockwave, exhume shockwave. But my vulnerable is really huge. Well, I should have drawn first. And no potion, but maybe strength pot was necessary because it is a damage race. Shockwave, exhume, 
Shockwave. Exactly like we ordered. Exactly like we ordered. Fourteen damage versus uh, saving some life here. So, we could get Art of War, or we can do 59 damage. So, defense? No, no, no. Our defense is our face and Tori. And uh, Ori, Kalkum, Thread, and Needle. It's 10 block plus Tori. And now we have sustain with pentagraph, so that's our defense. Yep. 59 damage or one more energy here? So here's the thing. If I, um, I also spent two cards to do this, right? Is it worth spending one card on strike? Or what if I just, I don't want to tick them forward too much, right? What if I want to, like, have six energy in play, perf perfect your strike three times? You know what I mean? If I do nothing here, I don't get a burn. And three perfected strikes the next turn. Or bash, which is perfect. Let's keep the vulnerable up time. Let's look for bloodletting. We have three cards next turn. But if you guys notice, Battle Chance was a misplay, guys. Because next turn I would have lethal potentially. So I might have made a small misplay here. But if I play Battle Chance next turn, I could play enough cards. I think I just skipped here. I don't do any more damage. Is there anywhere where we get lethal here next turn? No, not on three cards. We do have Red Skull though. Maybe there is lethal. One, two, so how much is this? 84 plus 21 is 105. 105 plus 22, 127. 127 plus, uh, it's not enough. It's very close though. 84. 105. 105 plus 42. I'm very close to lethal. I was so close to lethal. If I save one more card, I could have had lethal because of strike here. But I would have less damage, of course. Now the problem is, um, I didn't make him vulnerable again next turn. I also... want to proc him forward here. Nah, this is, this is a counter paper frog. It does. This is it. This is a counter paper frog here. This is nearly double the damage. It's from 48 to 84. So this is the, the frog damage here. We're short by uh, 5 HP. Yeah, we have 147. I have one more energy, yes. It's unfortunate. 
What do I do about that? No, no, no. I included the pot. 84. 21. It's 105. Plus 22. 127. Plus pot. 147. The cards are simply shockwave. I really need bash. I don't get feed, but does it matter? Should we agree for feed here? Should we agree for feed? I draw six cards a turn. I have two battle trances in the deck. Orikalkum saves me. So, how much life am I losing by taking... Um, so since I have Orikalkum, I'm taking an extra... 26... Taking 27 damage, right? To get feed, to heal 3 HP. Alright, I'm, so I'm taking 27 to get 3 max HP. How much does 27 life convert into the next floor? I would like to rest here, but let's see what the shop has. Remember, ferrying the bottles, ferrying the bottles, ferrying the bottles, ferrying the bottles. Campfires are the worst. Waffle. Bag of prep. No ferrying the bottles. Okay, but waffle's pretty decent. I would argue waffle's better than ferrying the bottle here. Imagine if I fed, you guys. Jeez. Louise, who would have known? What about panic button as well? No, I can't afford this stuff. It's either bag of prep, Lee's waffle, or potions. A uh, waffle is how much HP here? All right, waffle's 33 HP. Waffle is 33 HP. We could remove in a 27 card deck. What would we remove? There's not much to remove here. Heavy Blade. I could remove Heavy Blade or get a Waffle for 33 HP. Yes, but I'm going to take damage in this Elite Fight and then the Pantograph heals me so that I'm going to have just max HP in a Dream. Yes, Panic Button is interesting. So, this Waffle allows me to have 33 HP. Take a, up to 25. Take up to 31 in this fight. Getting Bash is really important mm -hmm. here. Wait, so now I gotta make a decision. Is it better to kill um, Spider Shield here? Because there's gonna be block involved. Um, we're always playing brutality here. So we have 90 damage right now. I can't play Bash, unfortunately. If I play Bash, though, it opens up Disarm and opens up Shockwave. 
But we're probably gonna try to look for like Shockwave Zoom. How is what Penguin potentially 60 HP? Yeah, I know I have Disarm and I have Weaken and I can I have Tori, so I can manage this guy a lot better. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, Trico, that's really unrealistic, but I get what you're saying. It's really unrealistic, though. Ninety, ninety is a uh, hundred and ten. I'm three damage off from killing it. Oh, what would be better? What are you saying? Yeah, tungsten's really good. Uh, intense burner is good. So. I'm three damage off from. Why is it, why am I three damage from off from killing everything? I don't get it, man. Three damage off from killing this. Well, he I guess how much block does he get next turn? How much block does he get next turn? If I take the perfect trick, I would have lethal, yeah. No, I believe so. He does. He's gonna attack me. He's gonna gain thirty block for both, and he's gonna attack me for like a decent amount. And then after that, he's gonna do the ninety-nine block thing. So he's gaining thirty block, but he's gonna have thirty-three life effectively. But I'm turning my back on this guy. I still like this play. If I decide to do without the wound, I, I end up. He has gonna have perfect strike still kills. The three perfect strikes in the deck. I think it's pretty likely we kill this guy next turn. Oh, well, my perfect strikes are upgraded. So, the upgrades are not the problem here because they're, up they're all upgraded. So, upgrades are not the problem here. If you're saying I upgraded Wild Strike, yeah, Wild Strike upgrade would, would have killed. You're right. But I don't know if I would ever upgrade Wild Strike unless it was early game. Like, I would only upgrade this early game. But other than that, I never had opportunity to upgrade this otherwise. There was better upgrades always. Like, it would have been Feed first, Disarm first, Bloodletting. All these would have been upgraded before Wild Strike, so yeah, I missed the opportunity to upgrade Wild Strike in the early game, but I upgraded Perfected Strike instead. So you know, all the upgrades are here. Yeah, I know. I have two Perfected Strikes and the three Perfected Strikes in the deck, but I also get two burns, right? So, what are my odds of getting Perfected Strike to kill this? I also have two Palmer Strikes. I mean, if I go for the kill here, all I need is to get one Perfected Strike, and then, and then that, that, that's over. If I go this way, it's like. I think it's the best play is to um to full attack here and we have to get lucky perfected strike. We, we only have I only need one perfected strike though out of all these iterations. I only need one perfect strike out of all these iterations. And I don't want to mess up my draw of wounds. Alright, we got the perfected strike. Which is nice. And then we're taking the shit ton of damage here. Which is not nice. But. Uh, I could do fire pot or I could just draw like this. Um, if I do fire pot, I can save energy. And maybe I get into a pommel strike, which leads into a shockwave disarm. Right? So I think by doing fire pot. I allow myself the opportunity potentially to do shockwave disarm. If I do heavy blade, I don't have that opportunity. All right, well, it didn't work out, but the idea was there, and you can't knock me for having the idea. Oh, the fight should be over now. I don't know if I need to do bloodletting. 
The fight should be over with Shockwave, double, double Shockwave, right? So I don't think I need Bloodletting here. Save myself some life. I'm going to need it for the heart. I thought Fire Breathing would be better, but maybe just getting feed out of the deck. No, but I can redraw into feed. I can redraw into feed, which it might be worth it here. Can I go feed next turn? I would have to exhume it, right? Well, I need to play Shockwave to get the Vulnerable, which is important. That's two energy. And then I have to exhume Feed, which is three energy. Feed is four energy. And then I only have one energy left with Pummel Strike. So no, I can't kill with Feed next turn. I was thinking more along the lines of exhuming... Um, well, if I don't draw into exhume next turn, I Shockwave and then I go for the kill. You know what I'm saying? Unless I do Immolate now. And now let's take a look at the math. If I do Immolate now, he's at... Uh, f okay, let's take a look at this. 52. 52. Feed is doing how much? I have... Pommel Strike is doing 17, Feed is doing 17, 34. No. And playing Fire Breathing? No. Fire Breathing would have been an extra 12 damage. It's only 48 damage, I was still short. Are we trying to do... Um, feed here? No, no, no. We're kind of giving up on feed here. Unless I exhume it. I try to redraw into it. Try to redraw into uh, feed here. And maybe don't redraw right here at all. Because I want to hit perfected strikes. Probably better. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe we get feed. Good chance. There's a chance. Nope. Didn't happen. Okay. Max HP, true good bloodletting. Now, if we get. If we get. Another bloodletting in the deck that allows us to play even more perfected strikes. However, yeah, the feed makes a difference if I get it off because it's this is more. I, I had no block, so every bit of HP is blocked for the heart. We have a, we have a uh, power pot. Let's take a look at this bloodletting versus Shuriken versus max HP here. Okay. I have two battle trances. I have two Palmer strikes. I could probably utilize the energy. It also counteracts the void. It does three HP damage in order on average to do an extra 80 something damage. If they're vulnerable, it's an another 84 or more damage. Each bloodletting. But it's taking up a card draw slot. And I lose three HP for that. When you put in those terms though, it, if it's a damage race and I could do that much more damage, it's pretty good. But it needs to be alongside, um... Because it's also the Beat of Death, so the Beat of Death is going to cost an extra 2 HP. It's 5 HP with the Beat of Death. And then, it needs to be alongside actual Perfected Strikes to play. Trigger for life. With Trigger, we can target the Wounds and the Burns, right? We don't have Evolve, so we're going to be getting Wounds and Burns. And Trigger will target that. And then it, it takes advantage of our Dexterity Pot. I mean, with Dexterity Pot, maybe Trigger is more playable. Alright? Because I do have a Dexterity Pot. However, if I take Bloodletting, it really goes in hand-in-hand -hand with our... Beat him before he beats us. I just... I also can hit Heavy Blade as well, with Trug uh, which is not bad. Trigger has targets. Trigger has some targets, for sure. 
the statuses we're going to get, the heavy blade, the wounds and the, the, the wounds and the burns that we add ourselves. Chances of drawing trigger with the statuses? Well, pretty high because we have brutality. It depends on when we draw that. We also have two battle trances. So trigger's not bad. And again, we have dexterity putt. But then bloodletting, uh... How often do, do I can I actually utilize the bloodletting energy? How often do I die to the bloodletting energy? Sorry, how often can I utilize it? Pommel strike. Maybe on average, bloodletting lets us get another perfected strike out, right? Perfected strike is 84 damage, guys. So this card is enabling 84 damage. I just don't know if it's actually going to allow me to play more cards or it's going to hinder me. If I draw Bloodletting by itself, then I'm actually... I already have 5 energy. I already have 5 energy, guys. And I just don't know if the Bloodletting is actually going to be alongside the Perfected Strikes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Brutality, if it's been played early. Pommel Strike, Pommel Strike, Battle Trance. We're seeing a lot of cards. We're seeing a lot of cards. If I get all my perfected strikes jumbled up, yes. Have there been turns where I could have played an extra three energy worth of perfected strikes? Beat of Death allows me to block 11 damage from a heat Beat of Death. That's not inconsequential. Triggered allows me to like buffer 11 damage. And still play my other stuff. But yeah, I mean, I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, I'm really trying to see here. I, I forget my turns. How often would bl b Bloodletting be useful? Because I do see a lot of cards. How often would Bloodletting be useful? We probably don't want to play Strikes anyways, right? Yes, the Odd Mushroom gives me a lot of value, and so does the Tori. The Tori, we bought this intentionally, and this is, this is probably why we don't even have a chance against the Heart. Now, Beat of Death is still two with the uh, Tori only blocks attacks. So, also, if I get Weaken, right? We have two turns to find Weaken, so we, we're not going to take 67. Okay, but all I want to know, guys, is in the last fight, or in the other fights, how often would an extra Bloodletting have been useful to get Perfected Strike out? Given our card roll, I'm trying to remember because we have five energy. Have we ever drawn three perfected strikes and wish we could? Because that's that's a lot of damage. I'm doing trigger here. It, it takes advantage of the extra part. I think it 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 does some good things here. So I'm gonna use my potion. I'm gonna use power pot. Do I draw first, or...? Do I draw first? Or do I trigger? I don't necessarily want trigger to strike, right? Huh. So we can get Brutality now and get 6 card draw. We can get Berserk and get even more energy. Or we can get Demon Form for some strength. What? This is a tough choice. They're all rare. They're all serve a purpose. They all serve a purpose. Six card draw for more consistency in terms of finding the perfected strikes, finding the shockwave, finding the disarm when we need it, finding the, the perfected strikes in bloodletting together with the pommel strikes. Berserk for six energy. We're already going to be vulnerable regardless. It gives me six and ah, oh, but the berserk does give me some trouble. Demon form gives me even more smork potential, but I think brutality for card draw is probably better because I do think that we have the damage to kill them. We just need to draw the cards, as well as brutality helps manage the statuses. The statuses are gonna mess us up badly. Brutality counteracts the statuses.
Yes, Demon Form makes Hexblade stronger, becomes another perfection strike in its own right. But Brutality manages the statuses and give. So we have five energy. The worst thing we want to see is not enough cards. And we're probably trying to kill him in five turns, right? This is going to give us. Like. Eight strength, maybe? Do we, do we need eight strength to beat this, or would we rather take this, the extra card draw? We got the shockwave. Do I get rid of one strike or no? Do I want to protect myself from beat of death or do I want to just... So getting rid of the strike makes my perfect strike worse. But it saves me all this life. Unfortunately, shockwave ticks down. Yeah, so we're going to have to exhume shockwave. Touch bloodletting. Okay. That's fair. How are we gonna take advantage? Of, we're probably not gonna get bloodletting in the second cycle, alright? How likely are we gonna get bloodletting in the second cycle? I mean, it, it's probably pretty likely we get bloodletting in the second cycle, but do we need it on the second cycle? What we really need to do is make sure that we get enough vulnerable uptime. Because vulnerable is really what's going to give us the longevity in this fight. Uh... I, am, I, am I crazy for not wanting to get rid of bloodletting? Is the bloodletting going to save us in this fight? Or is it just one card out of many? As long as we have vulnerable uptime... We'll have 84 damage per perfected strike. That's enough. That's enough hits, yeah? Vulnerable is the most important thing. Maybe this gives me another perfected strike down the line. There are the statuses. So Flame Barrier does 60 damage, but Perfect Strike does 60 damage as well. This also blocks a little bit. Do we want to find our second Brutality or... I mean 60 damage is pretty decent, yeah? But maybe it's better to just play 59, 59 and face tank here. And just do the 60 damage here right now. It saves some thread needle, but threading doesn't. Gonna... <sighs> How much is the saving thread needle, honestly? Yeah, but it counts for the next turn's damage cap. That's the thing. So this counts for his next turn damage cap. I want to get the damage cap now. But because of the damage cap thing. And also, when I play more cards, I get less block because of Ori Calcum. And it's all about damage cap, right? So this gets the damage cap next turn, but I want to do damage cap this turn. And again, 9 block, play this. Seven block. Am I? Am, what else am I playing here? That's the question, I suppose. I could dig for disarm. Do I even have damage cap next turn? I have to perfect his strikes, which is not damage cap. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If I do this first, and then I do this, I could save more, more of my Threaded Needle. But what do we draw for? Can we draw some of these statuses? Okay. So now we have Exhum Shockwave for permanent... Exhum Shockwave for permanent uh, Vulnerable and Weaken, which is very good. But I don't do damage this turn. So 
So this is a really bad turn to draw Exhum. Because I want it for Shock, of course. I don't have enough energy. I think the Bloodletting was the play, guys. I mean, I wouldn't have drawn Bloodletting here, maybe not anyways, but look at look how much energy we need here. We need to do these. We also want to play Shockwave for permanent weak and invulnerable. Is it worth it? Exhumed Bloodletting? <laughs> Exhumed Bloodletting. But we're not going to have vulnerable for very long. But it does allow me to get an extra 118 damage. Also, I'm not going to play Disarm again. Because, yeah, he loses the negative strength. Ah, uh, fuck me. But he's going to have... He's going to have artifacts. This is really bad. Oh, God, dude. This is bad. This is really bad. They're going to have... He's going to have uh, artifacts. Do I just do Shockwave? I'm missing out on so much damage here, but we are weakened. And I can't do Flame Barrier. Yeah, his stomach's upset. He's. I, I had no idea what he ate. I had no idea. Maybe he ate Paper Tower or something. I don't know. No, 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 I'm not going to disarm here, but... Okay, disarm does get out of my deck. Here's the thing, right? If I do disarm, it gets out of my deck because I don't want to redraw it because he's going to have artifacts down the line. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. It's a damage race, so... This is 60 damage. This is 60 damage. So how much am I willing to, like, forego doing damage now or next turn with Flame Barrier? The Sharm is not going to get any play down the line because of artifacts. However, it could get rid of an artifact down the line to help me apply Bash again, I suppose. So you're saying the Exhumed Shockwave to keep permanent weaken? And miss out on all the damage here. One was very important, but I'm also foregoing. I'm foregoing a hundred, uh, 109 damage. Right by playing Exhumed Shockwave, I'm, I'm letting go of 109 damage. Will this one will give me 109 damage? I'm losing 109 damage. You think you think I'm gonna get 109 damage through through uh when I'm not weakened? But I'm gonna be weakened next turn as well. So next turn I'm weakened anyways, right? And then afterwards, then I start seeing the damage come through. What's up, Westwind? Nah, paper for all, uh, so only thing I would want to do with battle trance is like draw out the statuses and maybe brutality and stuff. But then he gets artifacts. But then he gets artifacts, right? And I can make a risk. I can try to take a risk to draw some statuses. But okay, we're gonna do shockwave here. I'm worried about this fight. I wonder if I have to save my life now with this arm because this arm is gonna it's gonna be useless down the line. But it, again, it also could get rid of an artifact, I guess, to reapply bash. We're not gonna need to reapply bash, are we? Because we're really getting to get bash here. Perhaps. All right, we got rid of the void. There we go. All our perfect strikes are there, but we were weakened. So, it's okay. We're missing a lot of damage, man. We're missing a lot of damage. Way too much damage. Way too much damage. 
This is really bad. I mean... This is really bad, guys. <sighs> Alright. So do we worry about blocking or no? Probably not, right? Bash, perfected strike, and what else? Feed? Do we don't care about fire breathing? Fire breathing is negligible. Yeah, I was gonna flex but I was weakened, so I'm gonna flex butt on the following. Fire breathing. We're not gonna redraw. I don't know if we're gonna survive too many redraws here. How much okay, we can calculate how much damage we have in the deck. Oh, we are drawing seven cards a turn, but we're also taking a lot of damage. Yikes, 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 yikes. Ah, uh, the order of things were so bad. The order of things were so bad. But luckily, he's weakened. I think we just do all our damage, and we just keep doing all our damage, and we win the fight like that. So here we take 15. So we could do uh, flex spot this turn because of heavy blade. And we can get rid of battle turns at this point because we have... Um, because we have... Uh, we could trigger it or we could just keep doing damage, I don't know. I'm only taking 15 here. Plus, I'm taking 15 plus the amount of uh, beat of death that I'm doing, right? Oh yeah, getting rid of this arm is also a good point, yes. So, I want to protect some beat of death here, so I think I just do True Grit, Perfected Strike, Heavy Blade. And then we take Face Tink the next hit. Well, how much damage are we doing with, with uh, well, we're doing Flex Spot here. So 66, 92. We can hit Damage Cap now. Uh, do we survive the next attack with Beat of Death? So let's take a look. We're taking 15. And I'm going to play uh, 3 cards. So I'm taking another 6. We're taking 21 damage. We're at 42 life. we got to play cards as well with, with the burn. The burn's not as... We have Ori Calcum. Ori Calcum blocks 2 of that. So we're at 44 life. And then we're taking how much? Because he's weakened. 37. Um, I mean, I, I hit damage cap. But how much damage do I have left in the deck? I've got a lot. I've got a lot of damage left in the deck. But then not, not having any block next turn is rough. Uh, but I do have, uh, I do have Nunchaku here. So I feel like we do Pummel, Heavy Blade, Perfect Strike, and then True Grit. Okay. So Orikaku can block 6. This is damage cap. Damage cap, I take 4. Then this blocks. So I'm at... So I take 4, 6, 6. And then we kill. Right? It's gonna be very close here. I need to draw block. So I wonder if I end with battle trends. Why? Well, I don't know if I can afford to end with battle trends here. But it's gonna be close. So I have lethal on the next couple turns. I um, I think we just pass here so we have life to play cards. Do I want to? I think it's pass here. Oh, brutality. 
Oh, fucking brutality. Brutality, 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 brutality. Jesus Christ, brutality. I need to draw block, right? So, if I draw block, if I draw block with pommel strike, if I just draw block next turn, right? I need to draw true grit into perfected strike, perfected strike next turn. Otherwise, I lose. Guys, wait, remember that 3 max HP I told you I, I could have had in that earlier fight? Look at what 3 max HP would have done for me here. 3 max HP allows me to pummel strike easier. Remember that 3 max HP that I said? I swear, if it comes out to 3 HP, I'm going to be so upset. That's why HP is so important. 3 max HP. Right, we can't focus on that now. Fuck. I need to do perfected strike, but I also need to hope that I draw true grit and double perfected next turn. I mean, we have a lot of perfected coming up, and we need to draw the block. This is so tough. I also have a chance. Wait, if I do nothing here, I could do Battle Trends next turn and help my odds of finding True Grit. Because then all I need to do is double perfected wins, no? Nope, it doesn't. No, Ectoplasm was bad. So, Fish Hammer was correct. The only thing was... Uh, the, the three mix max be for feed. I think we have to do this and then we have to gamble. I just don't know how. What are the odds of me doing pummel strike here instead? Or just next turn? I won't even have room for battle trance. No, because Retaliate does two damage. So that I, I would need to play. I need to get exactly true grid. Yes, exactly. So I do perfected and pass. And I need to get exactly true grit. And I draw seven cards. Flame barrier. Yeah, I know it's to do nothing, but then I won't have damage cap with two perfected strikes. So if I do nothing, I have a I can play battle trends to dig for true grit, right? Oh, but I can get lethal with strike. How much is strike damage right now? How much is a regular strike? Because I only have, if I get two perfected strikes, 168 damage. Right? And if I pass, I get a chance to play Battle Trance and then um, True Grid as well. And then I have 5 energy, which would be 160... Eight plus strike, which is not enough. If I use Palmer Strike to dig for, for this, then I can't play Perfected Strike this turn, and I have more chances to dig next turn. I have lethal if I. 84. How much is this? 84 plus 20. Uh, 26. If this is multi check, I win. If this is multi check, I win. Guys, it comes down to Wild Strike not being... Okay, not only... Damn, was Super Tality bad? I'm two damage off, and it's because of... If I played that one Disarm before drawing Void... Well, no, because he would have got rid of negative strength anyways. And that misfeedback in Act 2 that I talked about that was so just a free feed. 
Oh my god. But wait. Okay, if I played this arm, he would have got rid of the negative strike anyways, but I wouldn't have drawn it later on. Fuck. I'm literally two damage off. That's crazy. Three damage. Maybe the bloodletting. <laughs> no, no, no. Battle doesn't do anything though. Guys, Battle doesn't do anything. I have lethal if he hits me, but when he hits me, I die. We die together. Fighting the bottle would have been great, yes. Maybe it, I can try doing this arm and seeing if that makes a difference. So this is how it looks, guys. There's nothing else. We're two damage off lethal. Alright? Very upsetting. So we lost that, but let's see if we use this arm early if it would have made a difference and you know oh we'll um just track that up to uh all right so that three hp though would have made a difference though and i am supposed to live that never live that down so i did double brutality which was something to think about as well you know double brutality is something to think about as well you think deeper from what have been the two hp we needed I want to play everything the same and do disarm, but if we do demon form, maybe. It also comes down to what if I just didn't do perma shockwave? I mean, shockwave was very good. But what if I didn't do perma shockwave? I just play everything exactly the same. So that I feel like this, this was fine. If anything, I'm guilty of uh, not playing disarm before the void, which was smarter before drawing anyways. I wasn't sure if to commit on that though. But here we decided to uh, draw, yeah? I forget how we did this. I think we just drew a battle trance and we did permashock wave. Oh uh, no, we ended with battle trance, yeah? We drew first. Oh, and I'm wrong. Am I wrong here? Was I wrong with how I approached this? Where's the zoom? Wait, Perm wasn't here? Oh, it changes RNG? Why? How does it do that? I think how much damage I missed out on though. I missed out on 120 damage. I wonder if... Oh man. That's so unfortunate. Sucks. It's bad. Probably worse off this fight. Um, Palm Strike, right? Battleshine's worth it. Nah. Maybe looking for Flame Barrier was better though. I don't know. I can get rid of the burn. It's better to block after the fact because of uh... Or stuff. 
Oh, that wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, it would, it would, it would. That's gross, man. That's so gross. Uh, I guess the burn, disarm stuff. Maybe we just always play disarm first. I, I, maybe that's just it. Maybe I overthought it way too much. Just like play disarm. Like maybe just play disarm and uh, save your life. That saves a lot of life first off, right? And that saves enough life to get lethal. And then you can't play it later on anyways. So it's a curse later on. And this is the second time this has happened actually. Where I don't play disarm, and it's the worst decision. When you're in a damage race, play disarm because first off, you're not going to have the artifact, so it's going to be useless. Second off, it saves 15 HP, which is enough to race. No, but, no, no, but in the last time that I did it, I had disarm and I could have played it, but I didn't. I didn't play it. This is the second time I died to not playing disarm. So I'm going to make a rule of thumb. I think we've learned a lot. In a damage race like, like this, I'm just playing disarm prematurely. I'm just doing it. Getting it out of the deck. Saving life. That was a good run, though. Cool run.